All right, what is up, YouTube? It's time for another round. So we are going to commentate on this video here. We have a high level ish. You can see people are in Challenger. They're in Diamond. I don't know what the Master logos look like, but people are in Master. And uh, yeah, that, that's what's going on. So we are gonna watch this match here. We got a the interesting port part about this match was the Graves in the mid lane, and the reason because the reason. <laughs> Graves is interesting is because he's starting to rise a lot in popularity. You know, in low in the solo queue, Graves is starting to become king. Even more than Malzahar, I would say, just because damage from Graves is just or Victor, it's just not Victor, Graves, is absolutely insane. So we're gonna watch this Victor play. And let's actually move the camera so he's on Victor instead of something else. So let's see. Okay. So W W W Wow Fix Z is on the red side. He is playing as Victor, and his opponent is going to be, um, looks like Twisted Fate as Puncho. I believe that's how you say it. He's running Ghost, Flash, Victor running Ghost, or Flash, and I believe Cleanse, so good stuff there. Yes, Cleanse to cleanse the TF stun, I'm pretty sure. Plus they have a Bard and a Lee, so he probably is going to get stunned a lot. Um, Minions has spawned. And it's a little sneaky play there, coming right here. I don't know if they spot this Graves yet, probably don't, because he's hiding behind that wall. You don't see him, here come, they're going to run into Bard here in a second. And, oh wow, hello Bard, you're on the wrong side of the lane. He is running, he had the flash there. And Thresh flash, missed the Q, but they're going to cut him off, and it was going to do some damage on him. Landed a spear, Thresh the auto attack, and they're just chasing this guy the wrong way, he's running towards their... Oh my gosh, he's running in their jungle now. And it looks like he is going to die. The question is who gets the kill? And it looks like it goes over to Nidalee, so that is a very good start for her. Uh, Bard is probably, you know, chilling out, did not see what was going on. And uh, excellent start by them. Are going to start blue a little bit late, but they get a kill, so it's all worth right? The reason why Victor is popular is because of his E, or I believe that's his E, maybe it's his Q. But whatever it is, it's his laser beam, and his laser beam packs a punch. It does insane amounts of damage. Also has a pretty good reach on it. And that is starting to make Victor a not only a good choice if you want a lot of AP in your team, but also just a very safe pick because of his you know his abilities are quite annoying, so um, Yes, Victor is starting to kick kick some butt here the solo Q rings. I expect to see him if you haven't seen him already. Um, Solo Q, even in the high levels he's starting to play it, I know in the lower elos like bronze and silver gold, he's played a lot. And he's always hard to play against. In the higher elos, people are starting to recognize how good Victor is too. So, I personally prefer like Malzahar or something, but you know, um, he's always a safe pick. But Victor, Victor is kicking butt. So, pretty much as Victor, you know, you are auto-attacking quite a bit. Trying to set up for some good beams, laser beams, and it's kind of a gimmicky thing to land if you aren't really accustomed to to using it. Um, particularly if you smart cast a lot, it is very difficult to land. It's kind of an awkward thing. It doesn't really come, you know. It's kind of counterintuitive a little bit. Wait, but be that as it may, it's very strong. And at least, okay, so at least just got a kill down. Finally, immediately being picked up by Callista and Callista getting another kill. So they trade it off and then they get double kill. So Callista with a double kill is going to be very, very good for them because giving your ADC that double kill is probably a little bit better than giving your support or your jungler double kill. Plus, um, Callista died, so at least going to shove that lane out and probably back. Now, TF here, his cards. Victor feeling the pressure, but we have. 22 on the Victor and 24 on the TF, so very close. Yeah, Vic TF obviously a very good wave card, just lands one little card in the center of the lane. It goes through all the minions, kind of like Kate's Q. And very easy. Here comes a sneaky play by Bard. Getting the Q on him doesn't do any damage though. And it's been just going to walk right back to lane. Nidalee coming around the side here, but TF is backing, so not much is going to happen there.
let's see what else is going on. So we, we have a Nidalee jungle, which I, you know, I personally don't like Nidalee jungle because I feel like she doesn't do a whole lot besides poke. Uh, not really any initiation, so she has to rely on other people to start fights for her. And a jungler, you kind of want to be the one like starting fights, but she started off with a kill. She got another kill. So she's doing quite well. Um, Nar always very good top lane. More solid than I would say, more consistent than Gangplank, which is really what, one of the reasons I love to play Nara. I mean, top versus a Gangplank, because Gangplank, you know, just isn't that, isn't very consistent. I feel like he doesn't really know what he wants to be. Does he want to be a tank? Does he want to be damaged? No one really knows what Gangplank is. But. Anyway, so a little trading going on here. He's getting pushed to his tower. Um, it's easier for TF to push the wave early because he can line up his cards and just do like massive damage in the center of the lane like that. Like look at that card hit most of his minions there, and he's he's able to do a lot. So plus he can sustain a lot bit too with his W. If he gets a blue card, he can sustain in lane. Plus TF's auto attacks, TF auto attacks do a lot more damage due to his abilities than Victor auto attacks do. So easy for TF to kind of sustain in lane. Um, Victor just got level 6 and he's going to back. He, um, Twisted Fate also got level 6. He's ulting down to bot lane. And let's take a look and see what's happening bot lane. Looks like they just managed to pick up a kill there. Indeed, they did. As a sad Thresh and Callista also died. So, um, nice little play there by, by the blue side. Nidalee putting a ward down. And she's gonna invade maybe. Checking on the dragon and no. Starting a dragon by herself. Um I don't know. Can Italy do that? Looks like she can. Um, Kinging her partners here. Victor is still gonna shove this mid lane, I guess he just want to give it away. Nidalee, or I think Elise knows what's up though. Oh no she does not. Okay, so Nidalee's just chunking this dragon down. Look at that damage on the dragon. You gotta take it before they even find out what's going on. Indeed they did. If Elise had gone over to that side, she probably would have stopped her, but did not see what's going on there. Victor getting pushed in a little bit. Um, but look at that damage coming out. Just that E is insane. Half, almost half TF health just gone right there. And it's hard, it's hard to dodge, too, if he lands on you. It's very hard to dodge. So let's go back to um, just a, or Victor here. Okay. No, no, Victor, Victor, Victor. Okay, well, yeah. anyway, Victor, we'll, we'll just watch Victor for a while because I think Victor is a good person to watch. That's kind of the whole point of this lane here. Um, and you see Victor's auto attacking here, just got it, good job Victor. I'm gonna shove this lane in, we have TF with a blue, and then Victor, I guess, did not get blue. Just, it's Nidalee, and Nidalee wants blue instead of TF. Or instead of giving it to her jungler, because Nidalee's like that. So Bard over here is gets spotted by the ward, and Elise is stealing Nidalee's jungle while Nidalee is stealing Elise's jungle. So imagine that. Um, everyone's getting stunned here by Bard. A little scuffle goes on. Victor's standing back. He's going to engage his ultimate. Boom, that is a dead Elise. And Bard getting picked up with an R there. Nidalee flashing under tower almost dies. Wow, it's probably like. 10 HP or so from dying to that very good play by Nidalee there. Under tower kills the TF. Victor now shoving lane. 71 to 64. So he's starting to get a CS lead just from that, that little fight there. And it looks like he is going to back. Now Victor players have a special item called a hex core. Um, they cannot be sold, so it counts as like a um, basically an item, an extra item. So they buy five items instead of instead of six. So Victor players, they start off with like a free item, if you will, and then they have to upgrade that with gold, and they, that's what their item is. So Victor players will always buy five items, really four items if you count their boots, or if you don't count their boots as an item, which I guess you wouldn't really count their boots as an item. So because it's really four like, damage items. If you will. But yeah, that's how it goes. With Victor's gameplay getting ganked here. 
Nar Ultra that didn't land. And they aren't gonna get that, that citrus, that fruit on, on Gangplank very hard to stop. His anti CC. Victor pushing his lane. Here he comes. The pain train with threats to see if he can land his Q. Flashing and Blissa is going to send the ult. Knocks him up. Lands an E and he is going to be dead. Doesn't even have to land the Q there because this is. Kalissa's ult is so strong. And uh, at least way too late for that party. Kalista being a good ADC and not stealing all the mid lane's farm. Now, a lot of people will steal the mid lane's farm, which the mid lane hates. And solo queue, um, you may find your ADC coming late, coming to your mid lane and just taking all your farm, which I hate. <laughs> nice kill by mid lane. Look at that damage, it's insane, Bertha. Very, very sad bar going through and forward now. Um, getting a free mid tower there. TF's just like. Not having a good time either. Two deaths, one kill. Try to fight his way back here. Trying to take the damage because he doesn't want to lose this minions to the turret. But he might end up dying in the middle here. It was not worth. Um, if he had, he should have a ward there because Nidalee is close by. Mis kind of a mistake by TF there to take, you know, to be that exposed. But you know, that's what I would have probably done too. So I guess Nidalee just sneak snuck up on him there. Um, okay, so Victor is going to back, looks like. He didn't want to back in the middle of the lane, because he knew that Elise was around somewhere. So. But he sees there's a scuffle down here, so he's going to actually roam. Um, Elise going to pick up a kill on the Thresh, and then Victor will probably just walk back, because they can't, they can't gauge on that. But Overextending Thresh gets punished by Gangplank and Elise. Bard roaming down. And their their ADC is actually like one kill right or never mind. Grave is one and two, so a one and two against Clist is four and three. A full he's really behind. If you check out his items, Clist already has her play to the ranking, while um, Graves has not even had BF so yet, so very far behind here. Nidalee coming up, trying to jump on this twist of fate. Look at that burst, just absolutely destroyed here. Gangplank probably gonna pick up a kill though on this Nidalee. There he goes with his Q, you're dead. Nar ulting him into the wall, it's gonna use his Q, gonna use his E. Auto attack, one more auto attack to finish him off and he will die. They're gonna trade one for one there. Nidalee does get shut down so he um, gets a little bit more CS. A little bit more gold off that than Bertif does. And Elise coming in, gonna jump on this Thresh. Misses her E but he's still gonna die from him. He gets smited, gets Q'd, and that is goodbye. Thresh running looks like Ignite instead of your typical exhaust, which didn't really do many favors there. Um, and the dragon is up in seven seconds. So that looks like it's going to be an easy drag getting over to the lease, perhaps. Um, Victor shoving really hard in this mid lane against this TF, but I guess TF really can't do anything about it. Against the Victor, who has a kill and a lot of farm on his hand. Now about a 20, a 30 CS lead against this TF, which is pretty considerable if you look at. Victor, who has upgraded his thing one more time, so he has a, um, a Hexcore MK2, which is the, the final version of the, the Hexcore, I believe. Uh, Graves having trouble CSing under his tower. I guess Graves doesn't have that. Or, I'm sorry, Victor. I keep calling him Graves. Victor. Victor, Victor, Victor. His E, or his, Q, his laser beam, I believe, is his Q. Does a massive amount of damage, but everything else is not, so. A little scuffle here. Flash with the laser and kills that guy. Ulting finished the other guy too, so twist the bait and he's going over to Graves. They're going over to Victor. Um, wow, FXZ. They're going to take this inner mid turret now. Bard can absolutely do nothing against this. He's going to have to let him take that. They also get that bot as Callista pushing out of this Graves. Um, taking over the jungle too. They're going to concede this blue over to the red team. Blue in a really tough spot right now. 8 to 14. They're about. 7k, yeah, 7k gold behind, which is pretty huge. Um, they could come back, but they're gonna have to play a lot better. Nar getting the top lane here, Blitzcrank, you know, or Gangplank losing his top tower, TF losing both towers, and then down bot, the Graves losing his tower too, so. Um, in a very rough spot here. Their dragon was not. 
It was not taken by Elise, so Red has a chance to take this dragon down. Stealing their red and getting away here. Admittedly uh, in a tough spot, but she will get away. Elise not going to be able to chase that. They are grouping for this dragon, though. I think they can contest. Really, really good ult there by Bard. Graves done. Checking his W and Blast is nearly Bard. Elise finishing off with W. Callista getting off, finishing off the TF there and running away. Picking up her ult and saving her Thresh, which is what Callista's tend to do. And then um, Victor, it, so bottom lane and top, top and mid lane joining the party. And it looks like they decided to start this dragon. Um, Elise still alive though with double buffs. Flashing after the Bard. Bard magical journey over the wall that's going to die immediately because the Bard chasing after his Elise, but Elise will probably get away. It gets smited, but takes an E to the face. Um, wards out of the blue team. They have the timer. They know exactly when it died. But shame. Not stop that. Um, Gangplank and Elise just not able to do enough damage to really stop this Victor. Victor coming up with Laser Beam, forcing East to E there. And TF is going to use his teleport. And Gangplank with the ultimate too. Not enough. TF is going to ghost and stun this guy. Falls up with a Q. Auto attack. Look at that damage from Victor. One Laser Beam just absolutely destroyed. Um, Victor knows what's up. Really nice Q by Thresh. You need to be getting a uh, cleanse though. This gang's playing. Gang play happens at cleanse. Um, getting chased out by Nara. Sets some barrels. Slows him down. A miss Q by Thresh is going to cost him. Bard. Just doing some auto attacks over that wall. Gang is going to be able to run away though. Nidalee um, stealing the jungle here. Elise, not really, I guess not really knowing. She's actually three levels behind me right now. They're starting to just really lose control of this game. Fighting the tower here, Graves getting in a really tough spot here. Blows apart that press. Absolutely destroyed. And Callista getting away. Look at that, look at that ultimate though. Absolutely sends it Callista. Mid, mid jump here, and Graves going to take her down there. My gameplay's going to steal it though. Flash it? Okay, so Elise flashes, but still gets smited by Nidalee. Big play there. TF getting chased down, gonna take too much damage. He's going to die. That is a sad twisted fate. One and seven, got a Lich Bane, but nothing else. Um, Bard stunning the Nidalee, but he's gonna get absolutely destroyed, that Nidalee. Um, Meganar, very tanky, but they can't die this. Narrowly missing out. Look at that burst by Nidalee. He gets taken down with the tower shot, though. Um, Graves. I'm going to be able to hold tower looks like for now. Victor in the top lane though, with starting to amass a minion wave, gonna take this inner turret until Lise, Lise is gonna go cut him off. Callista coming back to bot lane. 100 CS against Graves is 96, so Graves is holding on here despite the fact that he's quite a behind. Victor though, 173 CS against Twisted Fates 109. So look at that damage, that laser beam. And he's smart, putting his stun down right, right where he's going to land. If he did that earlier, he might have got a kill. But um, I think he just realized what he could do for Look at that. Flashes and then ults Twisted Fate back right as he gets stunned. Now, it didn't really matter because they had the, they were forced out of there, but that was a really good play by now. Those are the kind of plays you want to be thinking about when you play now. Um, so, Victor getting kind of turned around here. Everyone's getting ult. Forced to flash over that wall there. Please. Starting the group around this Baron. Huge wave bot lane. Pushing on that blue inner tower there. Lots of pings going on in this jungle here. Really, really bad Nidalee is going to be chasing these people. Takes a stun, takes another stun there. Um, it's going to get away, it takes the Thresh, but look at that damage. Beautiful Q land by Thresh, immediately getting fenced off. And Nidalee is going to die. Another perfect ultimate by Bard right in this Victor here. He's going to die too. As a dead victor getting comboed right there. Chain CC'd, is what it's called. And they're going to be ready to contest this Baron here. Um, Callista, very fed. On this Baron area. Looks like they're going to get blue. Callista saying no though. Tosses Thresh and Thresh getting land E and then a Q. Getting blown up by Nar. They're running. So they will be able to make it away though. Um, Another beautiful Q by Blitzkrieg. And 
that is enough to kill that. Nard, Mega Nard, it's too tanky to take the tower. It takes the tower shot, puts it up to twi twi Twisted Fate and kills him. Um, Nar, one too many tower shots. Forced it back, along with Thresh. Barred with the damage though. Those empowered auto attacks once he collects the Meeps. Really get badly converted there, but that's not going to stop him from that. Um, Victor getting a kill on Graves. Pushed a little bit too hard there. Nidalee is going to take their blue. The long awaited blue. And everyone else is shoving these towers down. <laughs> Very close there. Nidalee will be able to pick that up. Hourglass, Abyssal Scepter, and a jungle item. Victor pushing wave now, bot lane. Nidalee in their top side jungle. Gangplank trying to farm up there. 138 CS in Gangplank against 133 on CS. So for Nar, so Nar is 6, 0, and 5 though. It's very, very fed Nar against a pretty, um, pretty underwhelming Gangplank. He didn't, he isn't doing terrible, but he's not really fed either. Um, Gangplank or Victor getting stopped. Let me call here. I think they know he's there. Look at that damage though. Half of Graves health, one laser. Um, Lee's in a really bad spot here, getting caught up by this Nidalee. Getting chased down, but it is a Lee's. Um, looks like flashing over the wall there. Taking a spear, forced the E away. But her whole team's there, she should be fine. Victor shoving here. And I'm not. What is that spell? I can't remember what it's called. But Blood Moon, Blood Moon Elise. Very cool. Inkling getting caught again, but immediately cleansing it with his ability. And a little scuffle going on here. Want to make a stun, dodging that, that, that Thresh hook. Sending down the barrels, not going to be enough though. Just a humongous enemy, you have to watch out for that. Uh, Ultra is going down the gameplay. Thresh getting caught out, forced the flash, going to land a Q, though he's not. TF's going to ghost the stun. Go Ghost with his um, card, but it's not going to be enough. He's not going to be able to stun him. Victory landing there, trying to land, trying to land a laser beam, but not quite landing that. I'm going to shove this out. These guys, blue team now forced under tower, and Nar pushing the top lane. They have to back. They can't lose this inhibitor to Nar if they don't want to lose their tower to red team either. So tough decisions. Looks like they are going to stop this though inhibitor. Gangplank. Twisted Fate and Elise coming over to stop this Nar, which leaves only two of them. Stop this Bard. Bard is gonna go down. Too much damage taken. TF with the ultimate and the stun gonna catch this Bard out. Gangplank with his with his barrels, but they're losing their hit turrets left and right. Here comes the bottom inhibitor. They have to rotate back and stop this. Oh my gosh, guys. That is a Inhibitor turret going down, bottom inhibitor soon to follow here. Fed Felicity popping all over the place. And the gray victor to keep the lanes clear. That is one inhibitor down. Gonna be blue side. Dragon is soon to follow. Nar still just being this nuisance top lane, not able to be cleared out there. And it looks like, will they even stop to clear the pink ward? No, they won't. Oh, I guess they will. Okay. Two people on their team. Oh, all three of them can jump over walls. Isn't that convenient? Calista just tearing down this dragon here with auto attacks. Blade of the Ring King and Hurricane finish. And th Thresh missing Q on the Bard, which certainly would have been his death there. Um, I think they're all closing on Nidalee, but she's too mobile. She's going to jump right over the wall there. Um, Thresh though in a bad spot, getting ulted by Bard. TF following up with his gold card, and it's another stun. At least popping the guy, and here comes the chase like old. A little bit too late, but immediately jumping on the Victor. Nice plays there by Elise. Victor forcing the flash, at least over the wall, getting ulted by Graves, will die. Yes, that is a dead, a dead Nidalee there. Slow going down the gameplay, look at that laser, there. right in the middle of the team, he lands on three people there, chunks everyone, at least now forcing the flash, the ultimate. Too low, that is a dead, a dead gangplank. Look at that ultimate and that laser beam from Victor, insane damage there. That is why you play Victor. Flash and a few auto attack from Graves is going to be enough to take on the Victor though. Bar doing his best to kind of stall out there. Callista getting caught out. 
Wasn't quite sure if she wanted to take that magical journey, and that's why. Look at that damage. Mara doing work with his auto attack, though. Perfect ult by Nar. <laughs> Baiting out that damage. Flashes and finishes him up with the Q. Fresh is going to get away. Real Shield's going to save him, maybe. He uses his Iron Zolaris to keep him alive, but here comes the TF ult. He's going to try to cast some cards. Flashes with the gold card. He's going to pick that guy off. Seems like TF's flash is like almost always up. For some weird reason. Um, I don't know why. Maybe that's just me. But... Is that Distortion Boots he's running? It looks like it. Alright, so... Nidalee once is out for blood. They really want to win this game. Um, gold card there. Gonna cancel the Nidalee combo. But TF is forced to back as their team is starting to mount their Bard in the top lane also going to recall. They need to the test the drag. They have wards on the Baron. Or not the Dragon, they have the Baron. They have wards on the Baron. They are ready to contest this, but red team starting to deny them vision here. Um, peak wards going down. We'll, they will set up here for this Baron. Blista getting red and they are ready to siege. Looks like Graves and Gangplank are bot, so this is a good time for them to do it. Bard trying to put wards down, but there is a lot of red teammates on the uh, Ultimate with Blista onto the Bard, catching with a Q, and that is going to be a dead Bard. Nidalee Burst, too strong. TF in a bad spot now as he's forced to run. Graves forcing to rotate. Gangplank, I guess, deciding to push, or is he going to teleport over? Um, not really sure yet. The rest of their team is mid, I'm going to try to shove that out a little bit. And Bar Baron has been started by the red team. Um, okay, so Gangplank is recalling, being scouted, cast his ultimate on the Baron area. Not so useful here. Nara jumping onto the TF and the Lee's here, missing his hook. He's gonna jump on the fresh, I guess. Can't die immediately with that. They get Baron, Nidalee finishes off Elise. Victor finishes off Twisted Fate. Now they're mid lane, they're in trouble now. Bard forced to kind of stall here. He better run. He is gonna ult. Wow, so fresh flashing into the Bard ultimate. Total waste of flash there. Nice escape by Bard. Um, now they're just stalling. They're running for dear life. Victor with the. Laser Beam gonna finish off that Bard. He's absolutely dead. Uh, the mid lane is going down. Inhibitor is soon to follow here. Bot lane inhibitor also pushing. This is going. Could this be the end here for the for the blue team? I'm not sure. It looks like it will be. Um, the, the vote for the surrender actually failed there. Three to two. So it wasn't enough to surrender. Yeah, I guess I thought they have one more fighting chance. The laser beam plus Nidalee is gonna immediately delete that TF. Um, Graves not really able to do anything. His range is a little bit too short here. Calista just dancing all over them. Forced to the tower. And this is definitely GG. Baron buff. On the supers. Going to clear off any other minions there. Boom, boom. The bar there. Graves getting a little revenge kill on the Calista. Just getting a little too cocky. The healing. And then, yeah. It's GG. They're just trolling now. And there you go. That was an interesting game there. I hope you guys learned a little bit about Victor there. 11 and 2, with the final score. He's got the Echo, his Hex Core, which I guess it goes to 3. Yeah, perfect Hex Core. Okay. So there's Hex Core 1, Hex Core 2, and perfect Hex Core. Um, Void Staff, and then he went Lumin Luden's Echo. Good AP items for single target casters like that that do lots of damage. Um, Ioni Boots with the Home Guard, so he wanted that. Ability to just kind of recall and then be able to run back to lane. Um, and then double Dorans. He wasn't able to sell those yet. So, interesting game there. 287 CS at 28 minutes. That's very good. As a mid lane, you typically want to be shooting for around 300 at 35. So, definitely ahead of the curve there. Um, and that's all I got for you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please, in the comment section below, leave any advice. I know I will get better at these commentaries the more I do them. Um, I'm sorry if they are not up to your standards, but I will try to get better. Um, you guys have a great night, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.